okay. There it is. We are ready. We are rolling and we are recording. Hey, it's me, Jay Evans. And today I am joined by a legend, a fashion guru. She also happens to be the owner of Spy by Chance and a sponsor of my channel. Renee, what is going on? Hey, Jay. How you doing? I'm good because I'm talking to you now. <laughs> Renee has made time out of her busy schedule to give me the lowdown on the spa world, some information we need. Now, Renee is a licensed esthetician with four years experience. I got a lot of questions that people need to know about. They sent them in and, you know, you're here to educate us as a professional and give us some insight to like the spa world, to facials, to waxing. You're a professional in that whole area, right? Yes, I am. I am. Okay. Okay. So well, I am ready for it. I'll give y'all the answers. Hi. To us and tell us about her business and how y'all can stay connected to her to get um good services. Now let them know what area you're in. I am in Ridgeland, Ridgeland, Mississippi. Ridgeland, Mississippi, that's right next right. door to Jackson. That's right. So if y'all are in that area or if you're planning to visit that area, book with Renee. <laughs> okay, so we're going to roll into these questions um, and get Renee's education. Renee. Mm -hmm. Why is it good for a professional to wax you versus us doing it ourselves? I know a lot of people say, well, let me just get this there and go in the shower and I'm just going to take care of it. Why shouldn't we do that? Right. Okay. So when you use Nair, um, you're not, okay, let me just say waxing, it removes the hair from the follicles, which means makes it, it's going to grow back thinner. It's going to, you know, grow back thinner, coming out. So when you nair, you're not actually removing the hair. You're just kind of burning it. Uh -oh. That's why if you leave it on too long, you burn your skin. I know. I know. <laughs> Shaving, you know, you shave and you 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 go this way. You, you go up, you go down. You know, you're just trying to get the hair off, you know. And then <laughs> with with your hair, you know, it grows when you shave in, in all those different directions, it makes your hair grow back in different directions, which is why it's more prone to ingrowns for you to get ingrowns. Now, I have had clients who said, hey, you know, I'm just going to wax myself. Oh, so, okay. I'm a professional. I'm going to do that. But, you know, they said, well, you know, I'm, I'm back. Can you fix it? Because it didn't work. Because, you know, they do sell at home wax, wax kits. And, I mean, it looks simple. But, you know, can you just imagine, first of all, putting hot wax on yourself and then removing it? Yeah. So, that's why you should come to a professional. Because we don't that's really it. know how long it should sit and all that. And, and you're right, right. And, you know, different waxes just do different things, like, it's certain waxes that I would recommend on certain body parts. Okay. You know, like the same wax that you use your eyebrows. It's a it's a soft wax that you use with the strip. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't necessarily use it all over down below, you know, or under my arms. Because it's just a different, it's just a different removal. It's just different, different. Okay. So it just, you know. <laughs> I didn't but even know that. No nair. Definitely no nair. No nair. No nair. No and y'all stop shaving y'all. Stop shaving. I don't know. Like Wait. most people just say the ingrown hairs just come, you know, I didn't know it was from different directions. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, different things, different things do cause some of the most important thing is that different direction hair growth. You know, you just think about, like, look at my hair coming out of my head. It's curly. It's kinky. I shave it, and it's spirally already. And then it's going to say, and it's going to grow back down. 
instead of coming up because it's just it's so kinky, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the same thing down there. below under your arms, you know. It's just and it's, it's plus the trauma that you put your body through when you're shaving. Okay, y'all. So stop doing it yourself. Stop doing the shaving. Our facials anyway. important because some people say they aren't. Should you really be getting a professional facial? You should. You should. And I just, I'm not just saying that because it's, it's a, you know, people probably say you're just saying that because you, you do them. I'm not. You should. <laughs> you really should. You know, I mean, I a lot of it is genetics. People have genetic, good, good genetic makeup. Some people, but you know, you should get, go see an esthetician and get that dead skin. You need to exfoliate, and you can't do it with Dove. You can't do it with, you know, well, what do you moisturize with? Vaseline. I mean, yeah. So we shouldn't use Vaseline as a moisturizer. No. <laughs> you should not. Because Vaseline is so thick, it's it's going to block your pores. Oh. It's going to trap. Whatever is on your face, it's going to trap it. See, there y'all go. Now, y'all learn something because, you know, um, minority people tend to think just put that Vaseline and rub you down. And oh, okay. So put some water. Put some water on their face. <laughs> put some Vaseline. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, y'all, if y'all stay in a cold climate, no, that's not going to mm-hmm. help. You. Now, how often should we get a facial, Renee? About once a month. Because you, your, your cells, your dead skin, you, you turn over your skin, your new skin comes like every 28 days. So, once a month, about once a month. And then, I mean, you should do it once a month. If you're not, you if you don't have an at-home regimen, which you should, you know, a day and night regimen. Um, the help. The he- so, yeah, it helps. I'm just, because I'm trying to think of the best way to say it. I just don't want to, I, I don't know. You should do, you should have a day and night regimen. Your night regimen should be a little stronger than your, than your day regimen. Um, because when, you know, when you're sleeping, that's when your skin is more active. It's not more, you know, so you want to do, and let me tell you guys, please, please, please. I don't care what you use. Make sure you put on sun, sunscreen. Sunscreen. So sunscreen. Yes. In the daytime sunscreen, please. I know you don't do it. Do you? You got to start. Yes, because yeah. I never, <laughs> I, I will always think like if I'm going to the beach, I need to use sunscreen. I just never thought, you know. No. Uh, no, but when you're driving in your car, the sun is coming through the window. When you get yeah. out and walk in, when you get out and walk to the grocery store, the sun is just a little, a little not bit. much. Don't put it on like you're going to the beach. Just a little bit. A little bit. Mix it with your Vaseline. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it funny. with your moisturizer. With your moisturizer. But we need a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Every day. Oh, see, y'all got that tidbit. Now, do we need it even in the wintertime? Mm-hmm. Every day. Even if okay. All the time, nighttime. Okay. You don't need it at nighttime. Okay. okay. <laughs> Go out, put your sunscreen. Now, are you in a private setting? You know, when you're waxing, some people aren't comfortable with derobing. So, are you somewhere where they can unrobe comfortably and let you handle the waxing? I am. I am. Very much so. Yes. I'm okay. in a private. I have a two rooms, but it's only me there. So it'll just be me. I, I can turn my back. I can go out the room. I don't know why you want me to go out the room because I'm finna see you anyway. 
but, but you'll be the only one to see them because your space is closed. I'm the only one. <laughs> okay. yeah. So they can be comfortable. They can be comfortable. Now, the spa by chance provides services for men. Like some of us guys um, are like hair the monster. We got chest hair, back hair, leg hair. Do you wax the guys too? I do. Yes. Come see me. Come see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you now, want that, that bodybuilding look. That body, yeah, you can be straight out there and spray the, uh, what they spray on them, like a little suntan look. Uh. <laughs> and be okay. Now, why is Spa by Chance the place to go to? Why, if somebody has never been to you, um, what are the benefits of coming to you? Because you're knowledgeable, but what's like the benefit of coming to you versus going to anywhere? Because you will be in the presence of greatness. No, I'm just playing. But I am a wonderful person. I am wonderful. But I feel like, you know, you come in, we're going to have a bond because I bond with all my clients. Like, I love, them. I really do love each and every person who comes in. I mean, we just have a bond. You just, you come in as a, as a guest and you leave as family. It's just, okay. I mean, we just. Plus, you renewed and rejuvenated and relaxed and everything else. Yes. Okay. Can you say your slogan? Because you know I like it. What is it time to do, Renee? Renew, rejuvenate, and no, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Relax, rejuvenate, and renew the skin you're in. I got Bang. ahead of myself. There we go. But period. That's it. <laughs> Now, before a client comes for services, should they shower? What is the best way to prepare yourself? Because I know y'all deal with a lot. And sometimes people think, I just played on a tennis court. Now I need Renee to wax me. Should they come straight after playing doubles? They should not. They should. So they should wipe the, They should clean. Now, in that case, yes, please go get in the shower, please. I mean, it's not a rule. You can come if you want to. I ain't going to turn you away. I'm just going to see you to the bathroom with a wipe. I have Don't it. Don't it up. Okay. <laughs> now, how long have you been in business, and what made you say, okay, I'm going to do my own spot? Okay, so I have... I opened my own spa last year. Um, before that, I would do kind of at home. And I also, I went and worked at a, a, a um, waxing center for a couple of months. Um, but then I did, I decided to, I needed to be more flexible because I'm a single mom. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be able to control my hours so I could be home, helping doing homework and stuff like that. Be able to drop them off at school, be able to, you know, come home and do homework, working for someone else. I couldn't do it. You know, I needed to control my hours. So that's why I decided to go, come on, go on. It's by my chance, come on. <laughs> Now, that's an interesting business name. How did you come up with Spa by Chance? Okay. My son's name is Chance. <laughs> <laughs> and when I was trying to think of a name to kind of incorporate his, and I thought, 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 I just couldn't figure it out. Then I was like, Spa by Chance, Spa by. Then I was like, because it kind of can go like Spa by Chance, you know? Yeah. And you want to come to the spa, you know. But so I was like, let's go with that. And that's perfect because um I think you're the kind of person where, like you said, they come in as a client and leave as a friend, where you're very warm to people. Um if you book with her, it's not like you're going somewhere and somebody's just sitting you on the table waxing you. Bye, let's get to the next one. It's more mm -hmm. personal. So oh, yeah, it's funny. That's we're going to hold a conversation. 
And you just probably going to forget that you're there getting waves. She's just going to be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Okay, done. Okay. <laughs> so what are the full services you provide so everybody knows what they can just get from you? Okay. I offer full body waxing, full body from to top, full body, everything in between. And I offer facials. Um, I do the the dermaplaning facials, um, like targeted facials for like acne, um, hyperpigmentation. Just you know, we we can what whatever your target is, like your skincare. You come to me and say, okay, I have acne, you know. Can we work on this? Yeah, you know, if you just want to relax, we can do that, you know. And then I also do um, teen facials because it, it's important to start th them too, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, when they feeling themselves, their hormones starting to change and they start, you know what I'm saying, and just try to get them on the right track to get it together. Get it together. <laughs> yes. Before it now, gets bad, we get it. We if you know, if you you're ready, you got to get ready. to stay ready. Stay ready. Stay ready. Now, buddy. can clients book with you online or through a booking app? And what are your days and hours? Yes, you can book with me through Booksy. Um, it's also on my Facebook page, Spy by Chance. Um, my hours. It's kind of, I take appointments only, but you book me if you, and even I, I have it on Booksy. If you don't see a time available, just call me, reach out to me, DM me, call me, text me, and we can see, can we fit you in, get you somewhat close to where you know, daytime you want to come. I can work. I can work it. You can work. That's can the bonus <laughs> of coming to a private business owner. Yep. Now you do. We all love the free. You do free phone consultations, and for new customers, okay. they get um a free gift with their first service. What's your contact number? My contact number is seven six nine two zero eight five zero two one. Okay, so if y'all didn't get that, it'll be in the description as well as her other contact information. Now, are the products that you use available for sale online too, Renee? Yes, they will be soon. I'm um, on the website, which will be Spy by Chance. Everything is Spy by Chance. Yes. <laughs> coming soon, coming soon. Yes, so y'all But look if out. you are in the area, you can stop by the spa. By the spot in Ridgeland. <laughs> Where is it at? Is it like um off of Pear Orchard? Uh-huh. Yes, okay. on Pear Orchard. Mm -hmm. So y'all uh, If anybody's familiar with the, with the area, the little popular hair store that's on Pear Orchard, I'm right next door in the buildings, the little office building. Sweet 205. 205. I can't <laughs> wait till I come home because I'm rolling up the 205. I can't right? wait till you come home either. Make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Okay, so we gonna get into some of these do's and don'ts. Renee is here to educate us. So we got to know about Renee. She's a mom doing it for herself, a business owner. She gave us some education, but so many people have so many misconceptions of things that we do that's wrong that we don't know. So. I'm going to ask you these questions and you tell us if this is a do or don't and explain it, okay? Now, okay. after a waxing, should a person apply rubbing alcohol to the wax area? Because you know older people like, oh, you just cut your hair, put some rubbing alcohol on, you just shave. Should we be doing that, Renee? Because we love to put rubbing alcohol peroxide there. Oh, you had to make me sip my water. Mm -mm. Please don't. Don't. Don't put it down there, period. Thank you. So we shouldn't. Because a lot of people say when they shave, like how you informed us about the ingrown hairs, they always say, well, you should have put some alcohol there so it won't bump up. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened? You get them in the way. <laughs> Bump up. <laughs> so we need to stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that, please. And thank you. Um, you know, you you have some clients who just won't who they're just gonna shave anyway. Mm -hmm. Waxing. I've had people waxing just wasn't for them. They could not. It's not painful to me, but what's not painful to me may not be painful to someone else. Or maybe, you know, it's so uncomfortable that they just don't want to take it. So some people are just going to shave. But if you're going to shave, you know, you just need to do it the correct way. <laughs> Please don't use alcohol when you do it. Don't. Um, no alcohol. So let me ask you this. If, if somebody cannot stand a waxing, is there like other services you can do to just? If you can't, if, if the pain tolerance is for waxing, now you could, we also, it's a, it's a service called sugaring. I don't know if you heard it before. Sugaring. Have you heard of it? Mm -hmm. I don't offer it, uh, but it's where you take it's like a little ball, of, uh, and it's not it's not hot. It's, it's some people say it's maybe room to. I've never had it done on me, but I know people who have. They say it's like room temperature, but it's a ball of um, water, sugar, and there's something else in it. But they kind of take the little ball and they work it in, and then they remove it. Mm. Now, some people say it does not hurt at all. They say it's painless. I don't know because mm. I've never done it. I've never tried it. Maybe I should try it. And I, when I try it, I let y'all know how it is. <laughs> but okay. yeah, but that and the, I mean, of course, you can go the very expensive route and laser. Like, but, yeah, laser your hair off. Expensive. And they say it hurts. I've never done it, but people say it does hurt. And you ha still have to go back. Like it's not just a one and done, you know. So they can stick with the wax and stick they with the wax. With the wax and, yeah. Now, this one is an adult question. Um, okay. After a person has been waxed, should they engage in adult sexual activity? They should not for 24 hours. They shouldn't. Next day. Should not, yeah. Because your pores are open. So oh. let me tell y'all, Valentine's Day is coming up. Don't book on the 14th. <laughs> <laughs> book on the 12th or the 11th. I mean, even like a week before, because your hair is not going to start going back for a couple of weeks. So you can come on. Don't book on the 14th. Book, so book on the 13th. Book the 13th. Don't book at, don't book on the 14th. Book on the 13th. So why shouldn't we like what's the because your your pores, your pores, when you wax and, and pulling, you know, I told you it pulls from the hair pulls from the follicles. So that makes your pores open. You just want to give your pores time to close. So uh, no bacteria. Yeah, you don't even want to like get in the shower and you know how we do. Yeah, you don't do that. Just kind of you know roll up a little bit, but not much friction because it can cause irritation. You, you know. Mm -hmm. See, y'all learn. And we something. don't want to do that. No, we just want to rough it all up. <laughs> so no activities for twenty four hours. Yeah, that's important because I know. People don't even know that. Yeah. And don't even think about it, I guess, you know. But Ooh. you don't want that bacteria getting getting to your open pores and messing things up. Then you're gonna become saying Renee did. No, 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 Renee did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't wait. <laughs> now fast. Should, 
should you wear tight or fitting clothes after being waxed, even the guys, because, you know, skinny jeans, tight jeans, We should we do that? No, we should not. You don't want to do it because you don't, again, want that fr- that friction, that nothing tight up against you, which, you, pull, you know, it's just because it just calls for irritation. You don't want to be irritated. You know how, how when you're shaving, if the hair coming back happy, is you don't want that feeling. That irritation, that friction rubbing up against you. Loose clothes. Summertime, dresses, no panties. Come on. Our granny panties. Granny panties. So that's granny panties, baby. So we don't. Now, should you only exfoliate um once a month? When you get waxed? Um no. Yeah, no. No. You should do it about three times a week. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, because you want to make sure that skin doesn't come back, you know. So here it is once again. Pulling hair. Pores open. When your hair starts back to grow, you're coming. It's growing up. It's coming. And then now it's trapped because this day, what, 14, let's just say, you know, remember I told you to take 28 days to so day 14. It's trapped mm-hmm. and it can't come out because this little layer of skin is there. So what is it gonna do? It's gonna say whoo. And what uh, is that gonna cause? An ingrown. So yeah, you want this for yeah, just keep it open, keep that skin. Okay, now this one you mentioned um dove soap. Now a lot of people tend to think dove is like the VR soap. Um, should that be your main soap for body and face? Because I hear so many people be like, oh, you know, something wrong with your skin, use Dove. Um, you know, you're itching, use Dove. Your man left you, use Dove. Like, we act like that's the answer for everything. We do, don't we? Now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm geared to Dove. But, but, when you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. Now, you Dove on your face? No, no, I never use dove on my face. Yeah. Thought we should. So we no, 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 Mm-mm. no dove on your face. Dove is for your body. I say it's okay for your body. Deplete, but don't use it on your wuha. Oh. We're not oh. gonna use it there. No, 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 no. Oh. Now, I'm not an OBGYN or anything, but you know, really, and I'm probably going to ruffle a few feathers because I've ruffled a few before. Really, we should not be um, inserting any soap. And I'm going to say that some people know, but if you don't know, then, you know, you just don't. But you shouldn't be inserting any soap inside of your vagina. Um, We're just going to wash the outside you know um but dove is not the soap for that it's gonna dry you it's gonna dry you most people it dries it dries me it dries then we go put this vaseline so we dry then we go put this vaseline on because we want to shine it up you know and it look pretty and, and all of that but then what you're doing is okay so you don't wash dry then now you put this thick layer of vaseline on and it's trapping anything. If I mean, it's just there. It's not. There. It's just there. You know. So, but we don't want to use the. You want to use? I've heard. Um, I don't use the honey pot, but I've heard she's good for the vaginal area. Um, I, I haven't used her. I use. Um, the I use the say Brazil, this a personal bar that you can get from me, but <laughs> <laughs> I use her um her personal bar, and it's made formulated specifically for here because you want to use stuff that's gonna keep your pH intact. You know, just you don't want to, you know, and you already throw it off with so many different things, so we just kind of want to keep it. 
Keep it centered, ladies. Don't <laughs> do the dub on the inside. Please. Now, this one is an important one because so many people um, say it's good. Are store brought facial products good to use? I hear a lot of people say, you know, I just bought this over the counter. It works wonders. Should we really be using over the counter stuff? Mm -mm. No. 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 How can it's now? You know what? It's it's some stuff that you can probably get. This probably okay, mm -hmm. but I like so much of that stuff. Is just so this it has this in it. And then you read the product that the main product that it has in it, and you think, oh, I looked this up on Google or YouTube, and I remember hearing about this turmeric, and it's going to do this and do this or whatever. But then you lose focus of all the other stuff that it has in it that counts out, <laughs> you know, the product mm -hmm. that they're advertising because you just don't know. You know, you don't, it, you just don't think about it to read, you know. The five miles. So no, you should go, come, go see an esthetician. Go see someone who can treat treat whatever your target is. You know, whatever the problem is, you need someone to say, okay, this, this, and this is gonna do it. Because most professional products are, and I know that they say that those are, but they're not a professional product that you can't go and buy from the store mm -hmm. you have to go through someone go to their site and buy a, a professional product that's what i mean that's what you need you don't need to go to walmart and buy or even i know people who've gone to say they've spent like hundreds of dollars at like clinique at the clinique um counter like mm -hmm. and they just like well i don't know if it really helped us but you know so stay away from Walmart. Because I've never get... used Clinique. I'm not talk, trying to talk bad about Clinique. I've never used them. Maybe if it works for you, then just go ahead. But I really feel like you need a professional, a, a skin professional, to, to be able to tell you, hey, this is what you need. Outside of someone's specialty is something else besides skin. Like, you wouldn't go to the foot doctor to have them deliver your baby. <laughs> just so saying. better because you can assess their like skin type and their right. goal for their skin right right see y'all stop <laughs> going to uh walmart and target running through that line baby you don't know what you getting okay now those it's are funny because you'll go to walmart to get some to wash your face but you won't wear Walmart makeup a lipstick. <laughs> no, they're not going to do that, Renee. I know. So, yeah, we got to step it up. Now, those are don'ts. This last one, is this a don't? Because some people say, yay, nay. Um, how important is drinking water? Because some people say, well, I drink Sky Vodka. It's clear. It gives me, you know, it flushes me. It gives me nourishment is drinking water really important it is because oh. you drink sky vodka you might as well just rub the alcohol down there too it's gonna just dry <laughs> you out honey you have to drink that water you gotta keep it hydrated keep that and you know what and it's <laughs> because you know you drink water and the reason why I think that you should drink some, that they say you drink so much. You know, you drink your water. Of course, number one, you're going to use it out. And then number two, it it kind of, I think a lot of people say, well, I drink about five bottles of water a day, but I still can't see a difference in my skin because you're still not drinking enough. Because it's kind of like um, you're drinking, but it has to come from, through the insides and then come out. Your skin is, you know, on the outside. So you gotta drink more than five bottles, baby. And we can't drink five of these. It has to be bigger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, have you opened that water? You drinking that water? 
I drunk a little bit of it. <laughs> but does it help too if we like, you know how some people we'll start something and be like, I'm gonna drink it for three days and expect it to work. So we need to do it regularly for it to kind of take effect, right? Hold on, you said what now? You know how we might start drinking it for like two or three days and then you know, we just expect the results. So we need to drink it like regularly for it to regular, keep. Yeah. Okay. yeah, water needs to be a regular thing for you. Yeah. Please and thank you. Yes. So we got those. Those were pretty much those. All the stuff we do all wrong. <laughs> so That's okay. Now you just know what you need to work on. We need to work on now, um, you said it again. How can people stay connected to you? Because I know you're doing a YouTube channel as well mm -hmm. coming up, and I'll post it. But how can people stay connected to you on social media? Spy by chance. Spy underscore by underscore chance underscore. On social media, on Facebook, on Instagram. I made a Twitter. I don't get on Twitter very often, though. I'm a yeah. star, I think. I need to. I don't get on Instagram or Facebook very often, but I'm going to do better, y'all. I'm going to do better. Do better. You're going to do better because you're going <laughs> to have these people coming to you for facials, waxes. Y'all okay. um, don't forget, you have your free consultation with Call Renee. Me. Yes. Call her. She'll do the consultation. Also, for your first service, you get your free gift. Yes. And let me come. tell you something. I do a lot of waxing. I do a lot of Brazilians um, waxing. And I'm going to tell you, because we didn't talk about this. And this mm -hmm. is always a question. It's always a concern. Is, is it going to hurt? Is it going to hurt? I Don't please, y'all. Don't listen to anybody else. I want, <laughs> if you can, if you feel, if it's something that you want to do, I feel like you should try it. Of course, your initial visit, you you know, you have to let your hair grow out. It's uncomfortable. And, you know, just depending on your pain tolerance, I'm not going to say it hurts. It's mm -hmm. uncomfortable. And the next couple of times, it's, you know, it's, I mean, it's just an uncomfortable feeling. A lot of people, are, I think, get the anxiety built up because they're like, I'm laying here in front of a stranger and just bearing it all, you know. But girl, we get through that. We get through that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But if you if you want to try it, I I really think that you should. Don't let anybody just hear you saying, "Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt." Don't listen to that. Don't look at YouTube. Don't Unless it's that. your YouTube. All right. <laughs> and come on, get it together. Come on, get snatched. <laughs> so the more like you do with the more easier it'll become though like, it becomes easier yeah it's, and if, especially if you keep it up like on a regular regular every, maintenance yeah. like a car and the Brazilian okay. is the the line they want the line is that the Brazilian? Oh, no the Brazilian That's is the Brazilian. full full Monty baby stripped <laughs> off it's the full Monty so it's clean and new, like it's a. It's clean. It's clean, and your butt clean. So what is the one with the strip? Is that one with a? I... The one with the okay, so yeah, you had the bikini. The bikini is just like the size, boom, and then like the top. So think of two fingers. So you do boom, the side on your thigh, and then the top where a bikini will fall. Then you have the the um, next step up, which is the full Brazilian, which we call it. I don't know why. I think I, I need to reverse it. I think I'm, I'm thinking about something. But anyway, the next step up, you could take, you could do your little landing strip, your little triangle. You just you don't go in the lip area, so you can you can even take off the whole top if you want to, but the hair. Really, it remains in that in the lip area. This for people who want that hair there. But the Brazilian is the full Monty. Everything completely bare. Is that your most popular one? That's my most popular one. 
So y'all go to Renee. I had a friend, a friend say it can't hurt that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if they doing other things that hurt bad, I'm pretty sure uh, they can handle that waxing. How long does a typical waxing last? It depends. Now, it depends on my people. Now, okay. me and my people, we like to laugh and talk. So, is it, I, we prolong it to about 30 minutes. Okay. I can do it. I can do it a little faster than that. But I'm going to tell you, if it's your first time, I like to talk anyway. But if it's your first time, I am going to take my time because I want to just, you know, we're going to hold a conversation. We're going to introduce, I mean, just get to know each other, you know, just it's going to be real nice. We're going to go slow. I'm not going to go fast unless I feel like you can handle it. You know, if you can handle it, then I may go a little faster, but we just going to go small and slow and get it, get it, done, knock it down. Get you don't need done. to rush. We ain't going to have to rush it. We can take our time and do it right like the song, baby. That's right. That's so, right. There it is, y'all. Renee, um, my sponsor, the owner of Spy by Chance. Thank you for chopping it up with me like veggies in a Thank food processor. Thank you for having me, baby. I'm going to list the contact information in the description. If you are in the Ridgeland, Jackson, Mississippi area, you go see Renee. If you are planning to come to that area, you go see Renee. And Renee is in a good spot on a good side of town. You know, Ridgeland is a nice area. You can feel <laughs> comfortable and um, get the services that you need. Renee, can you tell them your slogan once again? Yes. Relax, rejuvenate, and renew the skin you're in, baby. Bam, she done blew it all <laughs> up. That's it. So y'all reach out to Renee. We're gonna have to bring Renee back. And um, I'm yes. proud of you and your success. And thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. So y'all go no follow problem. Renee on Instagram, call her up and Renee, we will chop it up with you again. Thank you so much, Renee. Thank you for having me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>